We start by painting the lightest spots of the painting. I have to admit that this is trust the process type of painting because at the beginning you don't see a thing and everything just looks wrong but trust me it's gonna be fine it's one of my favorite types of paintings to be honest even though it's so challenging and for me it's like a challenging game i have to relearn everything that i do on regular white paper black paper is basically a shadow so there are shadows everywhere and so as you go painting you discover the light so this idea is quite amazing for me i imagine that i am a lamp literally a lamp which gives the light which falls on the painting and falls on the character and in our case on mike so i have to figure out where the light goes and where it falls so it's a fun painting fun but difficult but I am gonna attempt to create the whole series of such paintings and I simply just wanna create a whole gallery of characters from Stranger Things starting with Mike today Last month I binge watched the whole Stranger Things series which I haven't seen before and it's a pity that I haven't for some reason, I postponed watching the series for a long time. I just didn't expect it to be so good. I actually didn't believe that I was gonna like it, but oh god, I did. And now I am absolutely fascinated by the atmosphere and the vibes of the series, which inspired me to create this painting and hopefully I'm gonna create more and more and more because there are a lot of characters which I would wanna portray in this particular style. So I basically found this photo reference of Mike and it gave me the idea of portraying all the characters in this way. I think these pink and violet neon lights uh, together with the black background will look amazing on all of the characters. And to me, the result looks a little bit like something comic book, drawing. So stay tuned for more Stranger Things characters. <laughs>